What's up my friends, welcome back. So here I have a new package that I just received and inside we have a very interesting product. Actually we have multiple products because this is my first order for the SMT service from GLC PCB. And in this way you can get all the components already soldered on the PCB, so all you have to get is to make the order, receive the PCBs and use those with your projects. Or maybe even sell those on your online store if you want. And of course this video is sponsored by GLC PCB and today I'll show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to order this SMT service. And not just that, we'll make a proper unbox, we'll see the packaging, we'll see the PCBs and the overall quality and so on. But we'll also talk about prices, about manufacturing time and also what you should have in mind when you order these PCBs, in order to make sure that they will be able to solder all the components for you. And also I will give you some tips of how to reduce the prices. So if you want to use this SMT service and make your order, stick around and let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. Let's just start with a quick unbox and see a little bit the PCBs. See the quality, if the components are well soldered, if the packaging is okay and stuff like that. So this will take just a couple of minutes. Okay, so the first thing is to open the box. Okay, so as you can see on the top side we have a cardboard. Let's just take that out. We have some bubble wrap, another layer of bubble wrap, another layer of bubble, no, two layers of bubble wrap. And now we have the PCBs. And as you can see, each PCB pack is wrapped in bubble wrap. And not just that, but also the cardboard box has some foam inside and some more bubble wrap. So damaging during shipping, it's almost impossible. Anyway, let's just see the package. We first have another plastic layer, which I think I can take it out. And now we have more bubble wrap. And as you can see, on each layer, we have some PCBs. We have two PCBs here because we only have components on one side. Then we have two more PCBs here. Two more PCBs and in this way we can damage the PCBs because we have a layer of bubble wrap between each PCB. So that's pretty cool. For the packaging I think it's quite okay. So let's see the next step. Okay guys, so now that I have the PCBs, we can take a first look. And at the first sight I can see any problem. They look pretty perfect. And as you can see all the components are on the top side and we don't have anything on the bottom side. And that's very important because for now, the SMT service from GLC PCB only accepts uh, for you to use just only one side for SMT solder. You can choose either of the sides, either uh, of the layers, but you can only select one of the layers. So if you, if you have more components, for example, you have more components on the bottom side, they won't solder those for you. So you have to do that manually when you receive the boards. In my case, I've soldered all the components on the top side. And that's because I think they use radiation heat to solve, to reflow the components and I think it's very difficult to just flip the PCB and re re reflow the other components on the top side without affecting the ones that are on the bottom. Anyway, for me, just one layer is perfect and also for this price is more than perfect. Okay, so as you can see, this is the 7 segment display PCB for, uh, from a past tutorial. If you want to see how this works, see that past tutorial because this is very simple to use. We have a serial input and a serial output, so you can control all these PCBs. You can make a series of 7 segment displays and control all of those at the same time. Just watch that video if you want to know more about this. And that's important because I'm planning to sell this on my online store. As you can see right now, I've ordered only 30 uh, PCBs. But if you, are, uh, if you are interested into this PCB, comment below. So in that way, I will make maybe 50 or 100 boards and place those on my online store. The cost will be around maybe $3 because manufacturing this board is around $2.9. So maybe add $1 or $2 for, for me. So that will be a total price of, of, of maybe $5 uh, plus shipping because shipping will change depending on where you live. So if you want to order PCBs from me like this one, comment below. I think a lot of you guys commented already about the Arduino that I've made, the Electro Nubino, the red one. If you want that as well, I could also make a PCB, an SMT order for that and place that on my, uh, on my online store. So yes, comment below if you want to see that. Now, let's just put this PCB under the macro lens of my camera and see how the components are soldered. Talk a little bit about the PCB and then we'll go to the PC and show you the step-by-step -step on how to prepare this PCB, what to have in mind and how to order the SMT service from GLC PCB. So let's go. Okay, so here we have a close look on the PCB. And first of all, all the components are well soldered and they are the correct component because that's very important. Imagine that they solder another, a different component in place of this one, for example, that will be very bad. But no, they are the correct components. And also the, the solder is well placed, as you can see. Let me just zoom in here. 
Okay, as you can see here on the resistor and the capacitor, they put just a little bit of solder and the connection is great and also on the chip, on the driver for the LEDs, each pin is well soldered in place. Also, I'm using 0.3 tracks for this one, 0.3 millimeters, and the thick one is 1.5 millimeter track. And those look, look good as well. And all you have to see is the solder mask and also the silk layer, which I have to say, I never have problems with that. It seems very good for me. So in overall, we have a very good quality PCB. Okay, so I've made another zoom on the PCB to see the chip. As you can see, each pin is well soldered. We have the resistor here, the MOSFET, everything is well placed. We have a capacitor here and also for the LEDs, each LED is well soldered in place just with a little bit of solder. So that just looked perfect for me. And also on the back side, we don't have anything to see because as I told you before, I only have components on the front side, on the top side. So we only have the silk layer and the solder mask to, the, to inspect. And once again, we have good tracks, good solder mask and good silk layer. And on the front, we have all the components. In my case, I think there are like 80 components or so. And in overall, this is good quality PCB and for only $2.9. Okay guys, so as we have seen under the macro lens, the overall quality of the PCB is quite okay. I mean, for only $2.9 because I paid around $85 for, the, for 30 PCBs. So that's around roughly $2.8 or $2.9 for one PCB. So I can easily sell this for five or $6. So if you're planning to make an order for this SMT service, have in mind that this is very low cost. Actually, my PCB is a little bit more expensive because of the components. Not because of the PCB or the SMT service, because that's very low cost, but because I have a lot of LEDs and a lot of components, and especially these LEDs are a little bit more expensive. We'll talk about that later in, the, in this video. So now I've written down here on my, on my laptop some things that you must have in mind when you order this SMT service from GLC PCB and when you prepare the PCB for that service. First of all, have in mind that you can only use one layer for the SMT service. You can select either side, the top one or the bottom one, but you can only select one layer to solder the components with, that, with this service. So make sure that you place all the SMD components on one side and if, you are, and if you have any other component on the other side, you will have to solder those manually. The second thing that you must have in mind is that they only make this, this service for two layers or four layers. They won't make it for six layers for now. And the third thing is that the color of the, SM, the, the, color of the solder mask is always green for this service. So if you want, for example, a black PCB or a yellow PCB, you can use the SMT service. They will always be green because this is the mass produced color for the solder mask. So yes, also have that in mind when you order these PCBs and you order the service. Okay, now about the components, they have around 30,000 components on their library, but you must make sure that they have the component that, that you want to use in their library, because if they don't have that component, that won't, they won't solder that component for you. So ha you will have to get that from eBay or, for, or from any other site and solder the component manually. They have a lot of components, but sometimes you won't find that component in the library. And we'll talk about this in the video Well, I'll show you how to select the components, how to see the SMT icon in order to use always the components that are, uh, that are useful for this SMT service. Now about the solder that they use, they say that this is lead free solder. So have that in mind as well. Okay, now let's just talk a little bit about the price. Have in mind that the, the total cost will include the engineering fee, the price of the boards itself, because this is the same price as if you would order just the boards, it will include the assembly cost, so the SMT service cost, and also the price for each component. So if you have multiple components, if you have more components, the price could get a little bit higher. But anyway, as I, as I told you before, these uh, 30 PCBs for me cost me only $70, no, $80. So that's a total cost for $3.9 for each PCB with this much, this, this many components. So that is just great. I mean, you can have this PCB and use it directly for your project without having to solder. And also it looks great. The solder, the solder joints are perfect. Okay, so I think this is just enough for a quick review of the, of the SMT service from GLC PCB. Now let's just go to my PC and show you how to prepare the PCB, how to select the components, and then we'll go to glcpcb.com and order the SMT service and see what to have in mind when you order the service and the total pr the, the price and the shipping cost and everything else. So yes, let's go to the PC. Let's get started. Okay, so first we need a PCB design. I have my design here in Easy EVA. See my full tutorial on how to use this PCB design platform. The links are below. When you select your components, you go to libraries and search for that specific component. 
If you want it to be able to be soldered with the SMT service, you must use the components from the LCSC assembly category. The component must have the SMT icon here, in order to be used with the soldering process. Otherwise, they won't have that component ready for the dispending machine. Also, when you use resistors, capacitors and so on, make sure that you also select the correct value for that component, because each component and each value for that specific component has a different part code. So you can just place a 0805 10K resistor on the schematic, for example, and then just change the name to 1K. You have to expressly search for a 1K resistor and a 0805 package. Before you make your PCB, I recommend you to go to GLC PCB and click this link here and see all the details for their services. Please read all these capabilities and the frequent asked questions. And then according to the capabilities, make your PCB design. So this is my PCB in this case. All the components are on the top side of the PCB, so they can all be soldered. Ok, now we need 3 files in order to order the SMT service. We need the Gerbers, the Boom file and the Pick and Place files. First, let's get the Gerber file. In Easy EDA, click this button here and select Export. Now here select Download Gerber and you will download a zip file. Now go to File and select Export Boom file. This will download an Excel spreadsheet file. You can open this file in order to make sure that all the components are ok. If we have a yes on this assembly column, that means that GLC PCB is able to solder that component for us. Now once again go to file and now select a sport pick and place file. This will download another spreadsheet file with all the coordinates for each component. This file is crucial for the pick and place machine in order to know where to place each component, the orientation of that component and so on. So now we have our 3 files. The Gerbers in a zip file, the Boom and the pick and place files. Now go to GLC PCB and select code now for the SMT service. First, as always, upload the Gerber file here. Once the upload is complete, you can see the PCB design. Now go below of this and select the PCB quantity that you want. In my case, I want 30 PCBs. Have in mind that the more PCBs you order, the lower will be the price per unit. Now scroll down here and on the SMT assembly, enable this option. You will be asked on which side you want the SMT soldering process. In my case, I want it on the top side. So I select that and click confirm. Now this will take us on the next page and here we have to upload the boom and the pick and place files. First I upload the boom file. Now I select and upload the pick and place file. Now I click next. On the next page we get the list with all the components that we want to use for the SMD process and we have to confirm each component separately. So take another look and then confirm each one by clicking on the confirm button on each row. Now you'll get the final review of the PCB and the component placement. As you can see here, this placement is just for reference only. If you are sure the rotation and polarity of your design are correct, just go and place the order. Because as you can see in the representation, my ICs are rotated 90 degrees, but that's just for reference. Ok, now save to cart and place the order. With shipping included and for 30 boards, I had to pay around 80 and 90 dollars. And that's less than 3 dollars per PCB. On the order details you can see each cost separately, so as you can see in my case the components are the most expensive, because I have a lot of components and the selected LEDs are a little bit more expensive. Manufacturing time is a bit longer than just normal PCB order. Usually I receive the boards here in Spain in around 8 days, but this time the order took a little bit longer, around one more week longer. So guys, I know this is a sponsored video, but I really think that this kind of service and so low cost, it will be awesome for all of us in the future. We can now create our own products and sell the PCBs. Or just get the products ready for our projects and that just for a few dollars. A few years back I thought this was impossible for small engineers and makers like me. Please comment below if you are interested into purchasing my boards. The 7 segment display, the Arduino board that I've made or any other. Make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell. Thanks for the support and see you later guys.